All right, good morning. Uh, this is Ryan Selby, and this is gonna be a short two to three minute video on the new Fisher and Pike hole, basically bubble CPAP, nasal CPAP, transition to high flow nasal cannula kit. Uh, this is actually going to be, I'm pretty excited about this particular product because what it's designed to do is eliminate all of the circuits your hospitals tend to waste when they transition from bubble CPAP to high flow only for a baby to fail. They have to go back to a bubble CPAP kit and then do it all over again. What comes in or what you'll find in these bubble CPAP transition kits is you will get a cannula and then we've added an adapter that will allow you to affix it to the inspiratory limb of either a bubble CPAP or nasal CPAP circuit and then the adjusted pop-off manifold that's for a high flow uh, set up and this high flow pop-off manifold is set at 40 centimeters of water pressure. So let's take a scenario here. We have our baby. Our baby was born at 27 weeks and was placed onto bubble CPAP. Baby's doing exceptionally well on bubble CPAP and after about five weeks, baby's 32 weeks now and is ready to move to high flow. Uh, this particular hospital has, who's uh, using uh, or who's working with this patient would like to sprint um, or just transition completely over to high flow, but this particular hospital is going to go ahead and sprint back and forth between bubble and high flow. So what we have here is we're going to go ahead and move the baby off of the bubble CPAP interface. I've already positioned the wiggle pads onto the baby's face and we have removed the bonnet and the head gear. And we're gonna go ahead and place that to the side. We've already sized the cannula. So this baby is going to be a red. Let's go ahead, this is very important. You need to change the pop-off from the bubble CPAP pop-off. Remember this is 17 centimeters of water pressure. We're gonna change this to 40. I do like this new high flow pop-off. It looks considerably different from the bubble CPAP pop-off. So it's a lot easier to remember uh, and there is the O2 analyzer on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the new pop-off, uh, plug in our O2 tubing, take off the inspiratory limb away from the interface. And then when we go ahead and plug, in, if you look at this adapter, basically it just connects at the end of the OJ2 cannula. We're gonna go ahead and affix the OJ2 cannula into the baby, making sure we have exactly the way we want it. Plug it in and voila. Now we can go ahead and do high flow. So if we're sprinting and then moving back to the bubble CPAP system, we're not opening up another kit uh, in order to do that. Or if we have elected to move just to high flow and if the baby fails on the high flow because they just weren't ready for just straight flow, uh, we're not wasting a circuit. We can go ahead and use the same circuit, go back to bubble CPAP if the baby fails, and then try again with the same cannula. Um, baby's been on this system for doing well on the high flow. Uh, it's time to change the circuits. Circuits are changed every seven days. And when it's time to change circuits, then you can move to the RT330 high flow circuit that is designed for this particular cannula. And all you'd have to do is take the adapter off and connect it to that. So that is the new um, transition kit. It does come in all of the five sizes that uh, we, or all five OJ2 sizes that are available to you. Thank you.